Hey guys, welcome to Compound Body once again today. And today I've got Kenanin here. So Kenanin, tell us about yourself. Hey everyone. So I'm just your average kid that grew up in Scarborough. I'm currently 21. I've been working out about for three years now. And two of those years was mainly focused on weightlifting and bodybuilding. And I've recently been getting into calisthenics over the past year, but I've been really consistent over the past six months. All right, so what are we working on today? So today we're working on um, chest and back. I'll be demonstrating to you guys a calisthenic focused chest and back routine. And we can maybe even get into a few different skills that you can progress into using the workouts that you use for chest and back. And I'll also demonstrate you some regression movements if, it, if you find that it's too difficult. So for our chest focus exercises, we'll be doing a little bit of scapular movements. Okay. So we'll start with something called scapular push-ups because um, the movement of the scapula is very crucial when it comes to calisthenics movements because you're always focusing on retracting and protracting and when you're going through whether it be handstands or handstand push-ups, uh, straddle planches. The same thing when it comes to pull-ups too. Okay. You're, you're really focusing on retracting and protracting the scapula every time you're going up and down and that translates well into your different holds because you want to focus on having your scapula protracted when you're doing your different holds whether that be the pseudo planche lean or the front lever or back lever. Yes, so yes. Yeah. So far, I've been really enjoying calisthenics. I still mix the both, weight training and calisthenics, which I find the most enjoyable way to train. So for my occupation, I'm currently in the reserve force of the Canadian military. So as it is the reserve force, I don't dedicate um, my full time to the military. I still am focusing on civilian side currently going to school while working in the reserves as well. All right, so uh, what do you typically eat in a day? As I do currently still live with my parents, it's still a lot of um, home-cooked meals by my lovely mom. Mm -hmm. But when I do get the opportunities, I still I do cook on my own too. Like for example, for breakfast, I like to usually make scrambled eggs, some toast, or maybe vector high-protein cereal, something mm -hmm. that's usually a little bit more high in protein and a uh, decent amount of calories. And when it comes to my home cooked meals by my mom, it's usually some sort of rice and curry, whether that be chicken curry or pork curry or veg some sort of vegetable curry, uh, eggplant, lentil curry or spinach curry, you know, just kind of whatever is available at home. Yeah. And since I am doing calisthenics, I'm not too worried about bulking as right. bulking does make calisthenics more difficult because it's about being able to master your own body weight, right? right. But when I'm, I'm focused more on bodybuilding or weightlifting, then I'll start really tracking my food intake and try and eat out a caloric surplus. So, yeah, to round it up, mostly just home cooked meals by my mom. Yeah, yeah. And here and there, when I get the opportunity, I'll, I'll cook on my own as well. All right, guys, that was an amazing push-pull calisthenics day um, by Kenanan here. And, you know, guys, I am thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I hope you guys can follow along with that routine as we have many more routines coming up. All right, guys, so until next time, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button, eat, sleep, lift, play, and have a great day.